everyone, it's me, um, Arden here. I don't know why I have this piece of paper here. I might as well just take it out. Um, today I'm going to be doing an updated setup of my Filofax. As you guys can see, I've completely switched out of my original binder, which was a day timer, I believe. The size was just weird. I didn't really like it. It was like in between an A5 and a personal, so I didn't really like it. By the way, I have a new setup. I'm not recording in my room now. I'm recording in my kitchen because the kitchen has the best lighting. So it's daytime right now. It's like it's 10 o'clock and it looks almost perfect. So this is the Ochre Malden in personal size. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have used this for about three weeks now and I chose this particular binder because it's gorgeous first off and it also ages really nicely it's like a vintagey type of binder and it just matches with everything I didn't want it to get a colorful one because I was scared the colors would clash and everything so I highly recommend this I purchased this from quick draw stationery and I love it I got it for about $81 and it's usually 110 so that's amazing. I haven't done anything with the leather. It's really, really shiny. I don't know if that's supposed, it, the leather's supposed to be like this, but I just, I just love feeling this because it's so nice. So when you go ahead and pop this open, it's got this wonderful pop sound, by the way. Let me, let me just show it to you. Do you hear that? I'm all about sounds, so, and noises. So um, when you open this guy up, it's, pretty it's not like stuffed to the max and it's not like not stuffed at all so that's it's a good it's a good stuffing place here um in this zip pocket here i just have some spare change you can't really see it and some um paper clips i don't really want to like loosen this up so i don't add too much into here it's just random bits and bobs that i find throughout the day in this larger pocket here, this is a full length pocket, I have these two little cats, and aren't they just so cute? They have the monthly view on them, so I just use these, you know, if I need to get a quick glance at the month. I've got these Target Dollar Spot sticky notes. Um, this is from the watercolor set, and I really like them, so these worked out. Um, behind these Project Life cards, I have important cards, my student ID, library card, as well as my um, five stars reward card for Boba, obviously. And then um, behind this Project Life card, I don't have anything. And I have these vintage cameras, which I use just to like paperclip things, like important dates. Oops, I just paperclip, so that works out. And these just kind of tuck right here. So. The front flap, if you're including this zip pocket here, it has six pockets, which is amazing. So one, four, no, it's a seven, sorry, I didn't count correctly. Um, behind here, I have this really pretty postcard, or sorry, um, card, and I did this wrong. It says letters to older myself. I don't know what I was thinking. It was late at night, just like it is right now. And up at the top here, I had some scrapbook paper, which I taped on here with double sided tape and then I have these little letters to myself. I found like this this book that had these letters to my older self and I decided to do it so anytime like I have a little story that I want myself to remember it's kind of like journaling so I try to journal every day but you know sometimes it just doesn't happen. So this just goes ahead and slides in here having yeah and this is a full length pocket by the way so I don't know why but my molding just doesn't lay flat before I had everything in here it would lay like this for some reason um, I kept the ring dividers sorry the ring protector and I just washi taped it with some really cute gold silver washi tape and um, it just protects the rings because I don't really like when you can see like the skeleton of the binder from outside so that's just to protect it I have this flyleaf right here, which, um, here, let me move this to the back. Um, up at the top here, it just says do it. 
taped with some washi tape because I am a student and I'm a procrastinator so that's that just reminds me every day. I don't think I'm going to continue putting my to-do list on here mainly because I have all of my to-do list on my weekly spreads and I just found myself never looking here so probably gonna stop that. Um, and then we come to my first divider, which is some really pretty cardstock. I didn't laminate these because I don't have a laminator. Um, if I ever get the chance to, I probably will. The first thing that you see is the yearly view. I don't really use this, just flip right past it. And then we come to my weeks. I generally don't do a lot of decorating. This was the very first week that I received it, so um, it was, you know experimental decorating and then we come to last week I really like the decorations here it's just a lot nicer I guess um, up at the top I use the note section as tests and then just write down my homework I found that because I'm left-handed the rings tend to get in the way whenever I try to write on Thursday and so I had like this gap here because I couldn't write in it so what I decided to do was I slit the holes on almost all the pages in here and um, you know I just reinforced it with some washi tape that way it's easy access and I don't have to constantly open up my rings which I know will damage them this is this week I don't really like the decorations on this week I again I'm just experimenting but yeah. Um, for my, you know, today marker, I have this really, I cut out, as you guys can see, my dividers are circles, and I cut out one too many circles, so I just thought this was really pretty. It shouldn't go to waste, and I just, um, I cut out the sheet that the, like, the cover that the Filofax came in to make these dividers, so it's just, yeah. And these just continue on. If I have anything, I'll write it in pencil. Again, I did slit the holes on all the pages here. And it's easy to fix if you don't like it with some washi tape. So I have the rest of the year in here. And then we come to this another really pretty piece of cardstock that has cameras on it. And this has some personal information, but I am starting a, an environmental club at my school. So I just have important goals. Um, things that we're doing, we're currently just setting it up, so it's a lot of work. Um, I have my goals and, you know, ideas that I want to do for the club. Again, I, I slit the hole so that it's easy access. Um, each section has specified paper, so the, um, my club has green paper because it's an environmental club. I reference this section because um, I have some important things on here. And then I also have this bookmark, which can follow me throughout the pages. I'm going to fill up these pages, don't worry. Um, that's there. And then we come to this section here, which is, again, really pretty paper. And this is my YouTube section. I didn't realize that the Filofax inserts didn't come with month on two pages. So I just have this layout of the month. And I'm not the best, because I just, I got it halfway through the month, um, you know, I think I'm going to start next month with planning out YouTube videos and stuff like that. I haven't been able to craft, but I have been getting into the mojo recently, and I just have some ideas, charm ideas, video ideas for you guys. And my YouTube section has pink paper, and again, it slits out. Um, the next section that I have is my expenses section, and I thought it was, well, I didn't plan this out, but it did turn out to be, like, tickets and numbers, so I thought that was appropriate. And in this little pocket here, uh, sorry, in this section, I have this pocket. It's just basically an envelope. I can't remember where I got this from. Actually, no, I got this from my cousin. I don't know where she got it from, but and I don't know the, what the character's names, but I slid it in here so that I can put any money that I have in here, so I know where it is. So this pouch just holds the money. I usually um, I keep track of what I'm spending on, whether it's a need or a want, and mainly everything is on food. So I think that's I think that that's okay. Um, every month I give myself a certain amount of money that I can um, spend and today and you know if it changes it changes and then we come to my last divider which is really pretty paper again I have this 
2015 reading challenge here. Again, slit holes. Um, you know, these are just books that I want to read. I haven't really been able to do anything except schoolwork this entire year. And, you know, my weekends have been really, really busy. So, I haven't really been able to read, but I am getting on this list. And the rest of it is just filler paper. You comes, it comes with line paper, to-do lists, blank, and grid paper. So, that's always nice to have. And then on the back here, I have this little, it's like a collage of all of the things that I love. So I have a Disney ticket, a picture of me and my cousins, Tom's um, little tag thing. I have this, which is a ticket to a musical I went to. And then I have this little Dove chocolate thing that says, the best things in life are chocolate. So I thought that was fitting because I love sweets. In this back pocket here, I have a California's workers permit, which I need to get signed by my employer. I'm currently looking for a job, and I'm underage, so I have to have a workers permit. Um, in this little pocket here, this it comes with a full-length pocket down here, and then it has this full-length pocket back here, which is really, really nice. Um, I have some stickers, which I don't really use. They're just for decorational purposes, but I do have a paper clip to a project life card and behind it has my personal information. So if I were to ever lose this baby, I hopefully somebody would look at that. In the pen loop here, I just have this pen. Um, I don't use it, it's just for decorational purposes. Um, there's that. The pens that I do use on this planner are the G207 pens. I absolutely love these and I swear by them. In my daily agenda planning, it's all this pen. Like, it's just a gorgeous pen. Well, it's not pretty, obviously. It's really gross. But it has this dark, dark ink, which I really like. And it's gel pen, um, which is the only pen that I really like to use. And then I have my Coletto, which I bought in New York from a store called Kino Kunia. Kunia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's this blue pen, three barrels, and I have blue purple